familie. I'm Nancy Gibbs, I'm the Managing Editor of Time, and the Person of the Year for 2013 is Pope Francis. Pope Francis has been chosen as Time Magazine's Person of the Year. Time's the editors decided that Pope Francis was the man to take the title and grace the front page. Emily Thomas, BBC News. Time Magazine officially naming Pope Francis his 2013 Person of the Year. He's a man of many firsts. We just announced earlier on the Today Show Time Magazine's Person of the Year, and it is Pope Francis. Yes. He beat out Edward Snowden, Edith Windsor, the gay rights activist this year. Pope Francis this morning was named Time Magazine's Person of the Year for 2013. Unbelievable. How much crack does a mayor have to smoke to win Person of the Year? <laughs> But there he is, that's the cover, and um, you can read all about it in the dentist's office in three years. Breaking news now, Time Magazine has just revealed its 2013 Person of the Year, and it is Pope Francis. This photo just posted on Twitter. He beat out a tough list of finalists. Time Magazine has selected Pope Francis as its Person of the Year, saying that the pontiff has changed the perception of the Catholic Church in an extraordinary way. And Chicago artist Jason Seiler created the image of the Pope on the magazine cover. Seiler is a classically trained oil painter who actually taught himself to paint digitally. He says he had only five days to create perhaps the most important painting in his portfolio. Look at that. I wanted to present him in a, a more um, charming type of a way. And also, I needed his eyes to be looking a certain way, and I had no reference of that as well. So I had to make up the eyes and the mouth completely. Wow, oh. check out that work. Seiler also painted NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden. He was the runner-up for Time Magazine's Person of the Year. Did you hear? The right wing is really angry about Time Magazine's new Person of the Year. Oh, you think I'm talking about President Obama? Nope. I'm talking about Pope Francis. The only person the right seems to hate as much as President Obama these days. Time magazine names Pope Francis its Person of the Year for 2013. The Argentine pontiff, elected as leader of the Roman Catholic Church in March, has... Time magazine has revealed their Person of the Year, and it's Pope Francis. He beat out Miley Cyrus and Edward Snowden, amongst others. I know that sounds weird. Yes, but it no, does. But the public had voted for Miley Cyrus yeah. on the Time site. And Pope Francis has been named Time magazine's Person of the Year. Time credited the Pope with elevating the healing mission of the Catholic Church. It said he has worked quickly to capture the imaginations of millions who had given up on the Church. Pope Francis becomes the third Pope to be chosen as Time's Person World of the Year. World lead ever since Jorge Mario Bergoglio became Pope Francis back in March. He's been on a mission to engage those who had perhaps given up on the Church. Those sort of efforts have propelled Pope Francis to be named Time Magazine's Person of the Year announced today. The last time a pope was on this cover was when John Paul II took the title in 1994. Pope Francis is the third pope in history to have been chosen by Time magazine as Person of the Year. Blessed John Paul II won the honor in 1994, and Blessed John XXIII in 1962. Time magazine have named Pope Francis as their Person of the Year. In less than a year, Pope Francis has shaken up some of the images and public perception of the Catholic Church. Time magazine selected him today as its Person of the Year. Pope Francis is Time magazine's Person of the Year for 2013. The publication says that in just a short time, the new Pope has changed the perception of the Catholic Church. Pope Francis has been named Time magazine's Person of the Year. The win is not that big of a surprise when you consider Pope Francis was also the most talked about name on Facebook, the most powerful person Pope on Francis Twitter. Pope Francis has been named Person of the Year by Time magazine. The American publication made the announcement on Wednesday morning Pope Francis has been named as Person of the Year for 2013 by Time magazine. Pontiff beat out former NSA analyst Edward Snowden for the distinction, which the magazine has been giving out each year since 1927. Si Pope Francis. Tinawag ng Time magazine si Pope Francis na People's Pope dahil sa pag Pope Francis is Time Magazine's 2013 Person of the Year. 
Time editors decided the Argentine had the most impact on the world and the news, for better or worse, over the past year. We think that in the, in the nine months that he has been pope, he has been a transformational figure. He has changed perceptions of the church, he has changed the focus of the church, he has changed the tone of the church. The person of the year for 2013 is Pope Francis. Yes! Yay! Awesome. Let's talk about smashing brilliance. Let's talk about Pope Francis. Uh, Nancy, uh, why did Time select Pope Francis? Because he has, in a very short time, changed the tone and the focus and the perception of one of the world's largest institutions and committed to confronting some of the deepest challenges of our time. And I don't know that we've ever seen anyone capture people's imagination so broadly and deeply so quickly as this Pope has, far beyond the reach of the Catholic Church. Hello, my name is Jason Seiler. I'm a painter and an illustrator as well as an instructor at Schoolism.com. For about three months now I've been working on my third book and my goal for this book is to come up with something a lot different than what I've been seeing out there. Uh, most books that I see are very artsy, you know, a lot of um, repetition and different things that we've seen over and over again. But a lot of the main answers that people have about the industry and how it works and what it's really like to be professional, uh, to, to work in, in the magazine industry, um, book industry, movie industry, a lot of these, um, or just even in the fine art industry, a lot of these books don't really answer the questions. A lot of people are left hanging. Um, technique wise and everything else. So I really wanted to put together a book that answers a lot of these questions. So I got together with my friend Marson, who's uh, uh, the publisher for uh, Mad Publishing as well as Sketchaholic.com and we came up with this idea to try to answer these questions of um, you know, what does it take to become an elite artist? You know, what does it take to succeed in the industry with that, that, where there's so much competition? Um, and, and what is a person have to do to get to this level. So we decided to answer these questions and a lot more with a book that we're going to call The Complete Artist. And I'm super excited about this. I believe that this project will truly be an epic book. It's going to be a must-have for artists of all skill levels. This book is for every person who hopes to unleash the creativity and turn it into a successful career. It will teach you to stay motivated and what the industry is looking for when they hire. You will get an honest, behind-the-scene look at what it's like to work as an illustrator and caricaturist for magazines such as Rolling Stone, The Weekly Standard, Der Spiegel, The New York Observer, The New Yorker, and more. You will learn exactly what steps to take in having your work prepared for publications and what they're looking for. This book is packed with beautiful imagery, educational and audio interviews, articles, tutorials, as well as painting sessions. I will also share a massive portfolio of my published and unpublished work along with sketches and studies. I've also invited my friends who are not only inspirations to me and my art, but also some of the world's best artists to share their stories and their portfolios. Artists like Cesar Santos, David John Cassan, Grigor Eftimov, Jeremy Gaetz, Sean Cheatham, Justin Coral Kaufman, Henrik Aldelaine, Robin Elay, Sterling Hunley, Tyler Jacobson, Aaliyah Chapin, Sean Barber, and William Ray. All amazing artists. Just mind-blowing artists. You're gonna love it. You've all invested so much time and effort into this project and now we're in the final few steps. That's why we're here on Kickstarter. We need your help to get a few more interviews done, recorded, edited, and to get the book printed and into your hands in a way that it's meant to be seen. So if you think a book like this has the space on your bookshelf, please give us a hand. I need your soul, soul.